I'm yeah, like, well, well, preachers yeah. speak the word, and they actually go to, they, 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 they don't just go off the top of their head, they, they actually open up a Bible when they, and they read the word. They're still, but, but they're still manipulating the scriptures because they're not teaching the scriptures not directly to all, the people. Not all, though. Show me well, one of them. I'm, and I mean, brother and sister and the revival center over there on, on uh, I'm born and raised in this church. I mean, you I know what I'm talking about. A female uh, that teaches in your church and gets on the stage and preaches to the Actually, uh, Miss, yeah, her, her scriptures say I suffer not a woman. See, see, they're going, the they going, the they going to get the Bible right there. And look, I got I another one for you. I can't argue you that. See? I can't this argue is, that. Now, this is Acts 1 and 5. For Hold John on. truly baptized with water, ahead, ahead. but he shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. There's, it ain't just water. You can be renewing. This is how you truly renew your mind. Because that that, that's, that, that uh, example he gave, mm -hmm. getting baptized and going outside of smoke, that was me. I've been baptized twice. Right. And both times I went outside of smoke. Me and sit here later on when the smoke was blunt. It didn't change me. Now, it was symbolic. It was cool. Right. But ultimately, not until I truly knew what I was doing was wrong and I saw the urgency. Did I begin to be a new creature? Yes, sir. It wasn't yes. until then. But, 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 so it's a good physical but, representation. Yes, sir. But this is where you get this is the water. This is the water. This is, yeah, but, this so, is the water. Not, but look, okay, great. You can get in this fancy water y'all talking about. And I'm not trying to be sarcastic. Because my thing water. is, I mean, you can have anointing oil or uh, you can get some cooking oil. It, it, it's, it's, symbol, it's symbolism. It's not, you know, it, you know, you don't need like the actual holy water to actually get cleansed. If you believe that's the case, then then you're good. So you my need, thing is, you need this water. This is the water. This is what we're Look, saying. John 15 and 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Right. Because this word which cleanses you and renews your mind. Right. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not arguing that. But yeah. for him to say, oh, well, because I just believe this, bro. There's strongholds. There's strongholds out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's strongholds. And, and, and the Lord set that up that way. And you're not going just, I mean, there's some people who, you know, quit smoking or quit smoking whatever or yeah. quit prostituting or quit lusting after women yeah, yeah, immediately there's, I mean, there's things but, you can change yeah but, well you're yeah but it's not all it seems like with y'all it's like well, if, if, if you go to church and you still are on this then you're not necessarily getting delivered or you're not saved mm -hmm. if you're still living that life now the yeah. whole definition of deliverance is that process now because god knows your heart the Lord, the Lord, he knows your heart is wicked too right but no, he yeah. that your heart is wicked. Yeah. Your heart is wicked well, look, he know, he things. know for a fact. If you're a good person, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. You yeah. might, y'all might be out here right now speaking. He knows, he knows our your he, heart. He knows our spirits. That's true. He knows right. our spirits. He, he knows, knows the mind. end of the book. Right? It's a movie. Then he knows what's gonna happen in the future. He knows. Right. So he, so he knows your heart. So it's more so about your heart. Like you can say, oh well. You know, I got saved, but yeah. Oh, when I got delivered, I ran back out and I smoked but the blunt. And this, I smoked this, the cigarette. This, you, this and your heart wanted to. No, but this is the question. And how your heart, are, you wanted to. How are you saved and delivered from what? From sin. Don't make a point. The devil. How? What? Sin. What is sin? So, Anything of that's not a God. Wrong, what is sin? Anything that's not a God. There's two portals on this earth. Well, how are you Good and evil. That's just only two. There's no middle ground. Who created that? Well, God did create sin. He created, he created everything right. Adam and Eve. Did he create evil? No, he didn't. Isaiah right. 45 and 7. He didn't create it. What about the show? See, this is what the churches don't teach you. Listen to me. Why would he create evil? Oh, well, listen to it. You believe in the Bible? Every last word. Isaiah 45 and 7. Every last word. Every last word. Okay, we're about to see But when you read one scripture, you got to read the whole book. book. We can't go to one scripture. How do you read the Bible? The whole book. No. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Here a little. There a little. Line upon line. But you can't try to make a point off of one scripture, you though, bro, because one you scripture yes, it does. means a whole bunch some, of different some stuff. Some scriptures prove it, and it's just blank. It's just like no that. question about that. You know? Some. So, some. Well, not all. Some. Now, some or... Uh, not all. Some maybe or, not the one you're going uh, to. Metaphorically speaking. That's what I'm because saying. Because remember, the book is written in code, man. Well, yeah. This wasn't given for well, everybody to get. They didn't speak the same. Or, I mean, our language, one word can mean five different things. Back right. then, so it wasn't you, like you're that. You're supposed to go into our language. What is our language? Uh, the, I mean, for real, it's just the, the holy language. I mean, what is, I mean, our, what is the holy language? I mean, you're speaking in tongues and stuff. In my, no, my you're both. Speaking in tongues is just speaking languages of different nations. Our holy tongue is Hebrew. Oh, no, speaking in tongues is the, the God. No, it's not. Scripture no, it's says not. If you don't have an interpreter, you can't interpret what you're saying, then you should, you should not speak that in public. Yeah. That's out of the scripture. Yeah, so sure, until sure. we can interpret that, right. we're not going to recognize that as an actual language. Yeah, but Hebrew was the actual language. Okay. And then right. when speaking okay. in tongues, it's we'll not that mumbo jumbo gibberish. That's the different languages that they speak. That's why I said in, 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 during the Pentecost, every man heard the gospel in their own so language. What was what was on their what was on their head? 
clothing, tongues. And every man heard in their own language right. what it represents. Right. Tongues. So y'all told us in America, and we're still getting oppressed. Yeah. We, we, we want, if you die right now, you won't make it to heaven? We're not saying that. I'm asking you. What, so in what? fact, all we, spirits go back to the Father. Yeah, okay? yeah all spirits. Now, if you're not unclean, the now, all say spirits even the wicked in Job, it tells you that yeah, all spirits are going to the heaven and they are at rest. Even there, the oppressor. I need to see that. Let's yeah. see that. Okay, let's, well, see that. Gonna, let's see that. Let's see that. Let's see that. Let's get that. First, we're going to show you that the most high command is evil. We're going to get that right after. Let's establish order. Isaiah 45 and uh, let's see, 7. Uh -huh. I form the light uh -huh. and create darkness. Uh -huh. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See, the Lord made all these things. That's out of his body. Now, 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 go ahead and say something. Ain't no twist in it. You're saying the Lord created evil. Yeah, you don't know. Says, you gotta scriptures. read the whole. Let me, let me say this. First of all, you about to come out the Bible. If you ain't got no scripture to prove what you're saying, I don't want to hear it. Uh, all right. I'm first sorry, of all, bro. Right. Yeah, let me talk though. First of all, I get what you're saying, but you're interpreting the Bible. No, we're not. We read it verbatim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. I read it again. No, but the Bible. Let's read it again. Hold on, hold on. Give me a chance to respond. Let me read it. Hold on. If you're not responding with a scripture to back up your point, how can you? Just let him say it. Just let him say it. No, but he's about to say Psalm out of his own opinion. He said we misinterpreted. I'm going to read it verbatim. You might be saying out of your own opinion. You said I'm going to read it. We're going to show you. Isaiah 45. Dealing with us. Let me read it. Isaiah 45. 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 Isaiah Right. Isaiah 45 and 7. Bible. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, interpretation. Let me respond. Can and respond? let you respond. Can let respond? me respond I'm respectfully. respectfully. Oh, what you get angry for? Huh? I'm not respectfully giving you a chance to respect because I'm the Jew. Has a respect for the scriptures. I have respect for giving you a chance. Give me a chance. Start with your point. Okay. Go first of all. Powers three and five. Go with your point. First and foremost. And John and Jeremiah seventeen and nine. The Bible talks about how Satan the angel created his own wrongdoing. No, he did. That's right. No, he did. The angel. What scripture is that? Excuse me. Can I finish? What scripture is that? I finish. May I respectfully finish, please? What scripture? Can I respectfully Go finish? Ahead. Finish. He created the angel who did that. He who? Put, he, the uh, devil. Satan. The he devil. Made, he the devil. made himself the devil. He was Lucifer. He made himself no. Satan the no. devil of his devious no. acts. I know. No. And we about to cut that right now. No. Get this first. Give me Proverbs 3 and 5. No, give me Jeremy. Give me Proverbs 3 and 5 first. Yeah, Proverbs it, 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 3, it, it, verse it, it, 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, uh -huh. and lean not unto thine own understanding. You just lean you. into your own you understanding. Did. You didn't pull out now. No, the does scripture not say that. The scripture do say what that. scripture? Okay, can you pull that? I'm about to call my grandma right now. I'm about to cut I, that too. I, I, Jeremiah 17. I'm about to call my grandma. She was just telling me about that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not telling. I got yeah, a Bible right now. She, she been saying the truth, truth bro. She don't know the truth, bro. Who tempted Adam and Eve? Who? The devil did. Who was it? Who was that? That was Satan. Who? 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 A snake, a real literally he snake. Used the form of That's a what the Bible says. A physical kind. Of, who's the physical counterpart of Satan on the earth? Right. What? Did you know that there's people that do the will of Satan on the earth? Every day of the week. Who are they? They're of evil. No, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Jeremiah 17. But they're the only ones that do that. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Black men don't do that. I say they ain't wicked. I say our people don't be wicked. But he created the race of people to be the wicked. I agree with that. I agree with that. Jeremiah 17 and verse 9. We're going to prove it out the Bible. Jeremiah 17, verse 9. The, the heart is deceitful above all and desperately wicked. Read it again. The heart is deceitful above all things. Yo, your heart, meaning in the back in the Hebrew, your which mind. is the ob, meaning your mind, is what? Is desperately wicked. Uh -huh. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And desperately wicked. What, Who can know it? Have respect for the Bible, man. We're you reading out this, I'm not shouting at you. I'm not shouting at you. The heart is deceitful anything. above all your things. Your heart is deceitful above all things. And shouting. desperately wicked. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? <laughs> Who can know it? <laughs> Quick question. You see? Quick question. question. So you're not thinking upon the ways Quick of the question. Lord. Quick question. Then your man is gone, Quick bro. Question. Quick question. Quick question. Give me a... Give me a... Quick question. Job, like the first chapter. chapter. Quick question. Quick question, please. You already spit it out, bro. But no, can I say already, this? You're you explaining. already spit it out so Roman I'm Catholicism. I'm, I'm asking, you know they taught that, right? I'm asking you a question. That, that Satan rebelled against the Lord. Why well, would he have a creation to rebel against the Lord? Okay. I'm asking, you, I'm asking you, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Go ahead. May I? I, I go, ahead. Cool. Go, ahead. go ahead, bro. 
I understand that you explain okay. yourself and I have no problem. Okay. But to keep your point across, you don't need to shout. We hear your words. That I said means 50 that 1. you have no control. I said 50 Jesus 1. Christ had control. No, no, he didn't. No. And he only spoke with both. No. He never needed to shout. Hold on. Hold on. He said his voice he, was he, just he, When words, I was on his thing, he spoke and his voice was loud. Wasn't he spoke it not? He never had to shout because he always was had the Lord, was, he always was had the Lord an austere man? Was he out of out of control when was he spoke Lord the Lord an austere man? Was he out of control when he spoke was the word? Was the Lord an austere man? Not out of control. We just you can't stand with. when people twist the scripture. Right. You man. twisted the scripture, That's bro. It. And our love speaking is according to your heart, man. To fit your lives. No, no we're we're speaking 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 the right way. Can you see the truth, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you was taught, hold on. If you was taught the right way of the Bible, you would be keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. You wouldn't be making your head ball, and you'll have a beard on your, on your face. Mama, if it's a badge of honor. Excuse me, I you lost see? my hair for the disease. Well, then, Mama, then I, what about your hair your beard? I lost that too because okay. of the disease. Then you so you don't know what then you're you talking pay. about. Then you pay. You don't, not your disease. Well, then, then how would you know then you just know me and then you pass on that. You have no prior okay. knowledge okay. about that. That means you, would, you should have asked a question Mama. before making yourself inappropriate on a question you did not know. That is not Mama. a common Mama. practice. Look, listen here. I'm making a judgment off that seat. You can't make a so judgment with no that accurate I, that, knowledge. That I said. You can't make a judgment okay, then with no accurate knowledge. But then what did I, I just know say? You, I can't say what did I just say? Am I correct? Hey, listen, man. I then I, I asked you a question. So I said, look, you can forgive me for it if it was wrong. All right? Because we're supposed to you know we're supposed to have a Wouldn't it have been the proper thing to say, hey, what happened to you here? Well, well you're admitting that you're wrong, or not what? Okay, well, it, it, if that's the case. So, so if it's true the case yeah. that you, you cannot grow up here, and you cannot grow hair on your head, he's sorry for that. then he, then, uh, then we have so he it or you don't. for making that assumption. Okay, but wouldn't it have been sorry for that ask? It would have. It would have. Okay, well, but he made a mistake. You're saying a mistake. You came up saying that you know the scriptures. Wouldn't it also be Christianly to forgive this brother? He is presenting. Yeah, an apology to you. Would it not also be of Christ, as you call him, to forgive him? Wouldn't it also Instead of be keep on put, putting the case up? Wouldn't it be also read. tactful to read, ask man? the question and not assume? Yeah, Isaiah 58 1. Because he said we ain't supposed to speak loud. Let's see what the Bible says. You can speak boldness is not speaking loud. We are speaking boldness. No, you're see, speaking loud. See, the so-called white man has taught our men to be effeminate so and they speak with a low tone. You see? I don't care whether you get it or not. That's not my problem. The thing is, though, if you're going to be preaching to people, it do have to no, be a level. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. It don't. First of all, we're doing it for the camera. Hold on. Hold on. We're doing it for the camera. It is effective. It is effective. It is effective. But guess what? We're getting, the message is still going to get across to our people. So now look, we deal. He's saying it's effective from the center. He's interrupting. You interrupt. Let all things be done decently and in order. All right? He's dealing with this now. We look back at me and him was going back and forth having a debate. Having a debate. No. Yeah. Dealing, dealing with the scriptures, we don't let you say that. When I came here, I just stood and listened. I didn't interrupt. You think yes, you, you started did. opening your mouth? Yes, you I did. stood and listened. You opened your mouth because you interrupted the word and you interrupted him that's trying to get real knowledge. Right. Okay, that's good, but you start shouting at me. So how do I'm you speak? How do you pass judgment? Let's right, see. We're not getting we get judged. Okay? The Lord said judges up on the earth right. to judge our people righteously out of the Holy Scriptures. Right. That's why I made this statement this as I did. Of I said, man, we're not teaching Christianity, man. Get the hell on down the street with I that, man. Because that's, that's a that's problem that got our people enslaved, in. man. All that pamphlet, Roman Catholicism, right? Yeah, you're Jehovah right. Witness, all that madness, that's what got our people destroyed too, man. Right. I'm not screaming at you. Because you come up with that plantation right. Christianity doctrine, man. Right. And that got our people destroyed right now, man. Right. This is serious, man. Why are you this screaming This is serious. Because we didn't know the Lord coming back to kill people, man. Right. He ain't playing, man. I'm not screaming. So at we're you. not playing. Because I'm, 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 I'm serious about this, man. I'm serious. Our life is on the line about this. You playing games, I'm man. I'm not playing. I'm not even. You're not this. coming across the scripture. Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. I'm not going to scream. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. I'm not going to scream. Fear not. Lift up thy voice like a okay, trumpet. Because, because now you make it man. Obviously, we can't agree, man. So look, if two can't walk together if they don't agree. So can you leave, please? I'm not screaming at you. But we, we can't deal with you no okay, more, all right? Let's, let's we, there's no order anymore. The most high is not the author of confusion. And right now, you I bring confusion, bro. That is free. You bring okay, confusion. But I'm not, dis I'm okay. not going to scream at you. you. Can you if you don't want to bring confusion, don't interrupt and let us. This is our platform. We respectfully don't want to scream at me, please. All right, look, man. We're going to show you what the scripture says. 
Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud. This is what the scriptures tell us to do. The scriptures say, to please meet you guys. I have the right to write down the street, and no one has the right to tell me what the hell to do. Either way, Isaiah 58 and 1. We want to obey God rather than man. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. The Lord told us to cry out loud and spare not. We don't got to spare nobody's feelings out here, man. He told us to cry out loud. What are we doing? I'm not trying to disrespect you. Out of respect. We're crying out loud. So do you know why we're speaking loud? I'm not. Do you know why we're speaking loud? Fine, but I'm not going to disrespect you. Do you know why we're speaking loud? From your own accord. The camera. We edify the camera first and foremost. Right. You see? It has to pick up our voice. But I also start speaking a little louder when you started to aggravate me with your doctor. Camera or not. And the interruption. Read it over. Because I don't know you guys. I'm going to maintain respect. That's my situation. 58. And one, you need to cry aloud, I don't care if you're not. Hold on. I don't care if you're respect I'm not going to do this. No, I'm going to respect the scripture. You, you, you don't respect the scripture, then that's what the problem is. You can't tell me what to respect. Isaiah 58. Oh, you don't want to respect the scripture? You can't tell me that. beat up the block. You see what I'm talking about? Try to force me. Isaiah 58. Right. Right. I ain't going to see him. Yeah. It ain't no point this is guy, a, hey, listen, man, let's start ignoring this. Yeah. Isaiah 58 and 1. Right. Cry aloud, yep. spare not. Yep. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their sin. So we're going to show our people where they're going off at, man. And if you've been wicked, the Lord going to deal with you, man. Right. All right, and he's going off because what he's he got corrupt communication because he's ultimately perverting the gospel, man. That's what cor cor corrupt communication that don't mean cuss words. Speaking out of his that heart, corrupt man. communication no, I, I is when you perverting passion. the gospel. Y'all clearly passed the kid, and I want you to be able to reach out. Now, look, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't subscribe to the worldly way, don't which he wanted y'all to do, right? And that's not what you're going to do. All I, I, my thing is, it's like. You will reach more people. Not if you conform or bend over, but be a little more approachable. Yeah, but see, that's all I'm we saying. We do, but you see, we we, we deal with it. Of course, we deal right, with it. Right, man, you was cool. You see, exactly. So you see the difference. Yeah, man. He, he yeah. came up here he, he and blasphemy, man. Well, he clearly was a. He came up here with with heresy and blasphemy, man. He came to the devil. He came to the devil. He came to the devil. That's what it was. Yeah. Hey man, in the scriptures talk about that. When the word's being sown in their hearts, suddenly get, Satan comes. Bro, get, you take that which was sown. Man. Get that and I'll get Distraction. Get that, bro, get that. and I'll get Job. I'll get Job. I All appreciate right. y'all, brother Joe, man. You gotta go. No, I don't gotta go. I, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Look, this world's coming to an end here soon. That's right. And, and, and you know, now, I remember. Now, I told him to get a scripture to prove that he said Roman Catholics taught that ain't that Satan rebelled against the Heavenly Father and took a third of the angels with him. So right? That's not the case. Right? Right. Not the case. We're telling you, you know what? Scripture proves it. The book of Job 1, verse 6, says, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And it reads, it says, And when the Lord said unto Satan, When is comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going into and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. So Satan right there, the Lord answered him, Where are you going, man? Where are you coming from? Satan answered him. He didn't say, I don't got to answer you. I'm doing what I'm worried about. He has to. He gotta, exactly. It's lost to it. 